Welcome to my new calculus channel. My name is John Gabriel and in this short <clears throat> video I'm going to be showing you how incredibly stupid modern academics are. So let's begin. Now uh, mo many of you have seen the expression uh, 0 0.333 equal to one-third but that's just total nonsense. 0 0.333 is a series, and it's actually equal to 0 0.3 plus 0 0.03 uh, plus 0 0.003 plus dot dot dot. In other words, uh, it has no last term, and it can also be expressed as 3 tenths plus 3 hundredths plus 3 thousandths. You cannot have this expression here without the series that I've just explained to you. In other words, you need to have three tenths plus three hundredths plus three thousandths, etc. Uh, for this uh, expression here to be valid. Now in a similar way, we can well define these expressions here. So these uh, expressions here are also series. They're series in very much the same way as 0 0.333 is a series with one minor exception. Uh, this particular series here and this one here don't converge. Okay, so, but they do have a common ratio also, just like 0 0.333 has a common ratio. These series here also have common ratios, except that they don't converge. So, 333 three, 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 dot 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 and 999 dot 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 both diverge. Okay, so um, usually one talks about the limit of this series and it's actually a third. But it's a very, very dumb idea to say that this is equal to a third because this here, 0 0.333, is not a number. It's just shorthand for a series. <clears throat> okay, <clears throat> so consider the quotient of the following two series that we've just seen. Uh, this series over this one. Now, remember, I'm not actually doing any division here. I don't have to. All I have to do is just use some simple logic. Now, <clears throat> I notice that if I multiply, if I multiply every term in the numerator by 3, I'm going to end up with the same value as I have in the denominator. In other words, the series, this quotient here, will be the same as 1, right? And since these terms are aligned, uh, I know that the numerator is exactly a third of the denominator. So I can conclude that 3 ninths is equal to a third, and that this expression here is equal to a third, right? So no problem. We have that this expression now is equal to a third. But it turns out, according to mainstream academic morons, professors of mathematics and teachers, that somehow at infinity, one third has the same representation as an equivalent fraction over 999, dot dot dot, like this, as it does for an equivalent fraction over this series. Now, notice that to express any number in base 10, you must be able to write it over an integral power of 10. So they're saying that you can write it like this. <laughs> okay, that's essentially what they're saying. And from this equality here, they're implying that this series is the same as this series here, which is outright impossible, okay? Now you may wonder, um, is 1000 dot 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 a well-formed series? Yes, it is. Simply add this series to this series over here okay and you end up with 1000 dot 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 okay so to be quite frank you know this subject this fallacy has been destroyed by me in so many ways i mean i've written articles in it i've produced videos and yet these idiotic academics in the mainstream continue 
to hold on to this absolute rock. Well, I hope you've learned something. This is the New Calculus Channel, and my name is John Gabriel. I hope you'll join me again next time, and that you'll become a subscriber, and that you'll also download my free ebook, which is the most important mathematics book ever written in human history. I'll provide a link in the details section. Till next time, goodbye.